Hi again. Um, the first book in our inaugural version of a book from the shelf is going to be Leo Tolstoy's War and Peace. As you can see, it's quite a work. In fact, uh, Tolstoy didn't call it a novel. He didn't even call it history. Um, this was during the time when uh, novels were a fairly novel thing. Um, so I don't think he really knew what to call it. Um, it's a little bit history, a little bit uh, fiction, a little bit uh, his philosophical views. But in order to give you um, a little bit of an understanding of where he was coming from with this book and why it was so wildly popular uh, for quite a few years in its time and remains very popular, you have to understand the history of the era. Uh, this was not terribly long after the French Revolution, and the French Revolution was the first major European attempt at populist democracy. Uh, the French revolted against Louis XIV and his uh, uh, monarchy. Uh, it's a pretty nasty revolution. And uh, a lot of people were put to death. A lot of people were abused uh, in a lot of ways, even though it was, uh, you know, a popular uprising. And it really set the rest of the royalty in Europe on edge. They did not like this. Uh, to make a long story a little bit shorter, Napoleon came along a few years later uh, as the European monarchs decided to uh, do everything they could to uh, reinstitute royalty in France. And Napoleon said, I'll save you. And to some extent, he did. Uh, he went to war against, um, uh, I guess you'd call it a confabulation of countries uh, that included mostly Russia, Great Britain, and Sweden, which was a very strong uh, military uh, country at the time. Um, in fact, there were, I won't go into it, but there were, uh, there was a pact between France and Russia, very similar to the one that Hitler and Stalin signed, that um, Napoleon uh, violated, just like Hitler violated the one against Stalin. Um, but Napoleon was uh, a very good tactician militarily, and he moved in to attack Russia, uh, went all the way to Moscow, and that is the setting for war and peace. Uh, but to the story, uh, as I said, Tolstoy said it's not really a novel. Uh, and uh, one, the one major thing I want to bring out here, I don't want to belabor these uh, talks, is that... Um, there's one primary thing that Tolstoy believed in and uh, wrote about in the way of story in War and Peace that was sort of the antidote to war. And I'm sure you can guess what that is. Uh, it's not peace, but it's what makes peace. And that is the interpersonal, very interpersonal uh, reality that every body's uh, life, and that's love. And the keystone to that was uh, between uh, Natalia or Natasha Rostova, who was a very good-looking young lady that had all the uh, Russian uh, men just mesmerized by her beauty and her personality. She was just out of her teens, I believe, and uh, she uh, was very sincere about uh, the way she dealt with her personality and with men uh, and had a very easy way of falling in love. Uh, and that had 
quite a few men in the story um, at her feet, basically. Uh, but the part I want to bring out is uh, what Tolstoy said about one of her uh, loves, not the person she eventually married, uh, but uh, Andrei Bolkonsky, who was uh, a prince in Russia. And in the story, very deep into the story, actually, in part one, chapter uh, 16, I believe, um, Andre is dying, it seems. I don't think I'm giving away anything in the story by saying this. And so he has this little mental soliloquy in which uh, he talks about love and what it means, I think, both to Tolstoy and to uh, the character Andre Bolkonsky himself. And if I could read just a couple of sentences of that. Love. What is love, he thought. Love hinders death. Love is life. Everything, everything I understand, I understand only because I love. Everything is, everything exists only because I love. Everything is connected only by that. Love is God. And to die means that I, a part of love, return to the common and eternal source. These thoughts seemed comforting to him, but they were only thoughts. Something was lacking in them. There was something one-sidedly personal, cerebral. There was no evidence. And there was the same uneasiness and vagueness. And he fell asleep. Um, what Tolstoy is really saying here is that the redeeming element of war uh, War is basically a destruction, obviously, but it's also uh, a destruction of the state of civilization of humanity. And if there's one thing that can restore that and to preserve humanity as well as the individual, it's love. And that's really the one thing I wanted to bring out in this uh, great uh, epic novel. Um, I call it a novel of Tolstoy's. So um, I urge you to, maybe this one is uh, a little ambitious to take on. It's something like 1,500 pages long. It's not an overnight read, but it's uh, very moving, and uh, it tells you a lot about where we are as a nation in the United States and uh, as a world in the 21st century. So thanks. Um, and... Next time, there'll be another book from the shelf, and I hope you'll like our channel. See you soon.